combustion of alcohols so you know that a combustion reaction is when something burns in oxygen so similarly we have taken the example of ethanol over here so and like so like any other organic compound upon combustion ethanol forms carbon dioxide and water so as you know all uh, all organic compounds upon combustion form uh, carbon dioxide and water so this is not confusing at all this is one of the reactions you must know so formation of halogen or alkanes from alcohols by substitution so if you remember uh, we did nu uh, nucleophilic substitution in in the pre in one of the playlists which was the playlist on halogen or alkanes so this reaction takes place uh, by the same mechanism nucleophilic substitution and you can use three different reagents with the alcohol to make the halogen or alkane so if we are making the chloroalkane for example so the reagents you need are heat uh, sorry alcohol and pcl3 uh, for this reaction and the condition the condition is heat so with pcl3 you will always have to heat and when you react the alcohol with pcl3 you will get the halogen or alkane which is chloroethane in this case as you can see it's chloroethane and you get h3po3 so you should remember the products then you can use pcl5 instead of pcl3 and uh, honestly pcl5 is my favorite reagent to carry out this reaction because you don't need any specific conditions for this reaction so whenever they ask conditions you don't have to write anything because there are, you don't need any conditions for this reaction it can happen at room temperature so when you use pcl5 you get chloro uh, chloroethane again but instead of h3po3 which you got in the case of pcl3 you get pocl3 and hcl so you should remember these products as well pcl5 is my favorite reagent then uh using hcl so uh, we'll come to this one later the hcl hcl later let's do socl2 first so socl2 it's also a pretty good reagent because again no specific conditions and actually it is one of the best reagents for this reaction because you get the chloroethane and you get so2 and hcl now the thing is that so2 and hcl are both gases so they will e escape from the reaction vessel so because they are gases they will escape into the atmosphere so you are only left with uh, the uh, with the chloroethane the, chlo the the halogen or alkane so this is a very good reaction because the product is quite pure because since the gases have re have been released you are only left with the desired product which is the chloro which is chloroethane so it's quite pure compared to the other ones now the last one is using hcl so i don't really like this reaction because uh, you have to first produce this hcl from nacl and h2so4 we did this reaction in the group 17 chapter so you should go to the playlist of group 17 before before you watch this this part and um, so yeah i was saying that nacl is reacted with h2so4 so we get hcl and in the same reaction vessel we have added ethanol in this case we are using ethanol as the alcohol so in the same reaction vessel we add the alcohol so the hcl which was produced from step 1 it reacts with the alcohol uh, to produce ethan uh, chloroethane and water so the oh is substituted by the cl so there are four particular reactions that we have done that can produce halogen or alkanes from alcohols my favorite one is the pcl5 reaction reactions of alcohol with sodium metal so when you add sodium metal to an alcohol what happens is that uh, the h h atom in the oh group is replaced by an na atom uh, actually this is an it's not replaced actually an ionic bond is formed where uh, so we have two ions in this ionic bond one is the ch3 ch2 o negative na plus so you can see that this is one ion this is called the ethoxide ion and this is the sodium ion so ethoxide ion and sodium ion so this compound is known as sodium ethoxide and h2 is released so you should know this reaction the you will see effervescence because obviously h2 is released so you will see bubbling in the reaction vessel now dehydration of alcohols so if you remember in the hydrocarbons playlist we did hydration reactions of alkenes so 
dehydration is the exact op dehydration is the exact opposite so in hydration from an alkene you form an alcohol in dehydration 